Today, we are looking into how to do the backflip. It's recommended that you can already do a pullover. It'll help a lot. As always, remember to warm up well. Also, stretch your neck just in case. Do this really slow. Okay, let's start then. First step is jumping on your back. You can start from smaller bounces and slowly start jumping higher and higher. Also try to look up while you're falling down. This will give you more confidence for it. Land with your feet facing up. After that, let's do the exact same thing, but this time tucked. So just grab your legs in the air. That's called tucking. Keep doing this for at least 20 minutes. Also, remember to use your arms. They will help a ton with the rotation. Just throw them as hard as you can. Then, keep practicing by doing pullovers. They have a similar feeling to a backflip, so they'll help you understand how to rotate. Keep doing this for a while too. You can also try to do multiple in a row, but that's not necessary. After that, it's time to just go for it. If possible, use a mattress. It'll help a lot with the mental stress of your first backflip. Remember that once you decide to do it, don't ever try to cancel the flip mid-air. That's the most common way to hurt yourself while learning to backflip. If you just fully commit to it, I'm sure you will make it. You can also learn it without the mattress. Garden trampolines are soft enough that you won't get hurt even if you land a little weird on the first attempt. After that, it's time to just keep doing more of them and clean up. The more repetitions you do, the easier it'll get. When you feel confident and ready, take off the mattress. Do the same exact thing, just without the mattress. And last but not least, let's practice tucking. Once again, just grab your legs in the air. If you lean back in the takeoff, it'll be hard, so instead try to look forward as long as possible until you're in the tuck position. Alright, that's it for now. See you in the next one.